independent living all have in common. They're all part of a unique event happening tomorrow night out at Craig Airport. Have you heard about this? This is the coolest thing. Now, the Independent Resource Learning Center of Northeast Florida is throwing its annual Mystery Trip Suitcase Party. This is an annual event with an emphasis on the word fun, a fundraiser that's actually fun, and it's such an entertaining way to give back. Here with more about the details and to showcase some of the artwork being auctioned off during the night, we welcome the Executive Director of the Independent Living Resource Center, Cutie Patootie, yes. Tyler Morris is Woo! here. Hi, hey, and Tyler. He smells great too, ladies. He's a handsome man. All right, now I've been to this party, yes, and it is unlike any other fundraiser. This is no like boring rubber chicken dinner type <laughs> event. <laughs> it's cool. It's fun. We try to make it entertaining. Yes. Um, and it's all for a good t cause too. Our agency uh, helps people with disabilities be independent and this is a great fundraiser mm -hmm. for uh, helping us do that. And, and so the whole idea is anyone that comes could fly away to an exotic destination. How does it all work? You show up and it's pretty cool because you have dinner in the hangar so you get okay. to eat regardless of in a pretty cool space. Mm -hmm. But then three couples will win the uh, chance to uh, do a sail away. Mm -hmm. a fly away or a drive away uh, from the event to mystery dinner locations. And it's, it's like so cool. that that night. That's what's so cool about yep. it. So when you show up, ladies, Bri, you may want to put a spare a pair of underwear in your bag or something <laughs> because you may be going away that same night. You will. And you come back before the end of the night, too. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to pack that, that's fine. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a good You don't need your trip. passport or anything like that. Like you're, Not you're this year. Coming back. Not this year. Have, Maybe you, next have year. you had to go, like, across... We've, international borders before? We haven't. We haven't yet. Not yet. But mm -hmm. uh, as our agency grows and our fundraiser does too, we would be happy to do that. Now this is, oh, it's, so it's, cool. it's actually the only time I've been out to a hangar at Craig Field was at your party. Mm -hmm. People have to go out to Craig Airport or the Jack's X Airport. It's called that too. Mm -hmm. The party's right there in the hangar. It's very easy. You drop off. We have golf carts mm -hmm. that pick you up, take you to the hangar, you feel very VIP. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Malones have been wonderful to us to help us with uh, the event by by bringing, um, letting us use their hangar, which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, and the auction's pretty great too, besides the dinner and the prizes. Now yeah. this is a pretty unique experience, I have to say. I'm sure a lot of people would agree. Mm -hmm. Who came, how did this concept even come about? Well, it's funny, because it started a little bit before me. I've been doing it for four years, and uh, the person who started at our agency is now back, Beth Meyer. Um, Y'all might have known her uh, with the city for a while, but she's back in our house and we're very happy that she's doing it. She has everybody energetic again, and uh, so we've been doing it for quite a while. Hmm. Now, this is all a fundraiser for the Independent Living Resource Center. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about where the money goes. That's, that's a good, uh, parties are great. Parties with yeah. purpose mm -hmm. are a little, better. Better. Yeah. a little bit better, right? Yes. So our agency is one of 400 centers for independent living around the nation that empower people with disabilities to live independently. And if any of us asked what independence means, right, mm -hmm. we probably have different definitions. So mm -hmm. each person that comes into our office is able to define that independence and our agency and staff of 20 are able to help them reach that independence, whether it's access, education, employment. Uh, so uh, we, we, we do a lot of good work at our agency. Wow. Well, some of the ways that you guys are raising funds during this, this massive party is by auctioning off some items. So you actually brought a couple with you, mm -hmm. some gorgeous pieces of art. So would you mind telling us a little bit about them? Yeah, disability inclusion is huge. You know, uh, disability, one in five people have a disability. Yeah. And um, you, I know you were talking about it a little bit earlier, Melissa, yeah. but um, just that exposure piece of getting people comfortable with disability, even if it's not mm -hmm. seen. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a great event at the Riverside Arts Market where uh, both able-bodied individuals and wheelchair users roll over canvas. Uh, this year we had a Paralympian come by mm -hmm. and uh, a service dog and they walked over the canvas oh, and nice. uh, created these beautiful pieces of, of art. Uh, we're very honored this year to um, have an, a local artist, very well known, Chip Southworth, take some of this artwork and make it his own interpretation with wheelchair art uh, uh, marks is what he calls it. And that will all be included in our auction at the event. That's that is beautiful. amazing that that beautiful was done with a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. I love that. When you first came in with those and I looked at them, I would have never, mm -hmm. ever, ever thought that all. they were from a wheelchair. No, and the best part about it, even though it's beautiful pieces of art, is the face of someone that has never been in a wheelchair before. Mm -hmm. And they ex and, we're, and kids, too. And they yeah. get in and they experience it. 
and they're like, wow, that's how it works. And so seeing that connection to disability and you know fighting that stigma mm -hmm. is, is really important. Yeah, because you literally have to be in someone else's shoes or chair to yeah. really get it, what their lived experience is like. And it, but the, you know what I love about your event too though is it's an escape. Everybody needs a little escape yes. from their reality, yes. their regular life. I agree. It's so enticing to think about a surprise destination at the end of the night and you have no idea where you're going. Mm -hmm. We take care of all of it. Uh, you know, you go to a mystery dinner location. Last year, uh, the flyaway was to, um, to uh, St. Augustine, mm -hmm. and then our drive away was to Salt, uh, Ritz Carlton. Nice. And um, we've been really great to have uh, Tom Bush BMW be our drive away sponsor. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. And Longhorn uh, Steakhouse put some pretty good food out for everybody to eat. So even if you don't get the trips, you're going to have mm -hmm. a great dinner. Oh, What's yeah. the theme of this year's party? Because it sounds like it's it's elaborate every year. Yeah, we, we switch it up. We started with, you know, the age of Pan Am. Everybody was tight and dressed yeah. and pressed yes. kind of thing. This year's a little bit different. Uh, uh, it's Hawaiian themed. Think Mad Men meets Poolside. Oh, uh, nice. So I had a little, you know. Oh, it's so the flower oh, no. pattern. But, yeah, but yeah. it's kind of that 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 theme. So are you going to be all attired like Don Draper in Honolulu I don't at know this I, soiree? I don't know if I can pull that <laughs> off. You got the hair. Yeah. You can pull got that the off. Hair yes, and yes. Yes. To go with it. So what does the future hold? For, what's next for ILRC? Uh, we're growing substantially, and Wonderful. specifically with mentors and mentoring. Um, our students uh, that are involved in our, some of our programs have higher rates for graduation uh, and decreased incarceration rates mm -hmm. uh, and the opportunity to go into an employment. Um, and, and also, as we grow that, the next step for these people that are graduating, these students that are graduating, is, is getting a job and being mm -hmm. productive members of society, mm -hmm. you know, actually contributing and experiencing and being independent in, mm -hmm. in, their, in their community. So, you know, we're growing with mentoring, we're growing with employment. Access is still huge. Um, when disability rights first came about in the 60s and 70s for the Americans with Disabilities Act, people were fighting to get access upstairs, oh, wow. you know. So yep. the, the fight's a little bit different now. Um, our students are fighting for equal opportunity yeah. for employment. Um, they're, and they they're, deserve that. They do. Yeah. They do. Every single person does. And every person, regardless of the disability, right. we are going to be able to provide them the opportunity for that. So how can we support mm -hmm. this event? Where can people get tickets? Yeah, mysterytripsuitcaseparty.com is where we can get, mm -hmm. uh, you can get tickets for the event. Uh, but if you want to learn a little bit more about our agency, I invite you to uh, visit jacksdisability.org. Uh, but come out. It's a great event. Uh, I'd love to see you all there. Yeah. And um, uh, we're going to be able to do some good work because of the funds that we raise. Yeah, you guys That's are doing wonderful. amazing work in this city. So thank you so much for Thanks. coming. We appreciate it. And if you would like to attend the ILRC's Mystery Trip Suitcase Party, the event gets underway tomorrow night at 6.30 at Craig Municipal Airport. For tickets and details, visit mysterytripsuitcaseparty.com. After the break, we have, have you ever wanted to bake like a top chef? very hard, a little harder than it looks. The season three winner of the Food Network Spring, Spring Baking Championship dishes up his winning secrets when we return.